the show with me? Welcome to another edition of This Week in YouTube, the show that's not available on iTunes, just like a little band you may have heard of called The Beatles. It's not a coincidence. I'm Lon Harris. And I'm Mark Jeffrey. Our top story this week, President Obama discussed his health care proposal with the nation and was greeted with a typically measured, fair-minded response. The reforms I'm proposing would not apply to those who are here illegal. It's not true. We can confirm at this hour that it was Congressman Joe Wilson who yelled at Obama, though we're unsure whether he was yelling, you lie, or requesting that the president play sex on fire next. The whole incident turns out to have been a big mix-up, as Wilson had actually been invited to attend the president's speech to kindergartners. Yeah, that makes more sense. After a U.S. Open match this week, a fan ran onto the court and kissed player Rafael Nadal. A man ran onto the court to kiss Rafael Nadal after his match. He was arrested, but Nadal shrugged it off, saying the guy was nice and told him he loved him. Man, I've been there. Crazed male fans run up to you in public and try to kiss you? (laughs) Yeah, that's that's exactly what I meant. A judge has sentenced the fan to do 50 hours of community service and to read the book, He's Just Not That Into You. Ever wonder what Sam Kinison was like as a kid? Well, he was probably a little bit like Jimmy. Oh, oh! Grandma Opal said, Jimmy, eat your special K for a special boy. I said, shut the f*** up, Grandma, and go figure your hole. Where's my cookie crisp? I want cookies for breakfast, bitch! Jimmy plans to continue making the show for at least two more seasons, or until his parents discover he stopped taking his Wellbutrin. A growing YouTube favorite, the show's demo runs between sociopathic outcasts and angry loners. Now, I don't want to alarm any of you, but it seems the city of San Francisco has been overrun by hipsters. The BBC investigates. Iraqi Japanese fusion restaurant. Bonsai tree piercing has become a way of life. These vegans are increasingly known as the Taliban of dieters. In recent weeks, a series of Prince mashup related deaths. Making a whole video about how much they hate hipsters. What a couple of hipsters. Yeah, really. We're not mocking vegans anymore. That's so last week. Now we're mocking blind people and the Swiss. Try to keep up. In the latest video from the station, Ariel wants to show you around her teen crib. This is my favorite candle. This is my favorite candle. This is my favorite candle. This is my favorite lamp. This is my favorite pillow. This is my favorite pillow. The main difference between a regular crib and a teen crib? The regular crib Scarface poster is framed. Thousands of gingers overran the city of Breda in the Netherlands to celebrate the fourth annual Red Hair Day. That was not actually footage of the Red Hair Day festivities in Breda. That park is just haunted. Senator Al Franken showed off his impressive cartography skills this week at the Minnesota State Fair. After seeing this footage, former President George Bush remarked, So what? Anybody can draw a map of Europe. Hard part is remembering the name of all them little countries. Franken says he taught himself to draw during his time at Saturday Night Live, while the rest of the cast was actually busy appearing on the show. Monday, of course, was Labor Day, which means another Jerry Lewis MDA telethon. Here's a clip from the performance of legendary Coochie Coochie Girl, Charo. What goes on between us, no one has to know. This is a private show. Oh. Yes, this year, the telephone lines weren't the only thing up for 24 straight hours. Landline gets you all the madmen you need in a lean 60 seconds. Just remembered something terrible from my past, but I can't tell you what. We all have secrets, Don. Let's smoke indoors. I really enjoy the aesthetics of this era. I don't care much for black people. After less than a day on YouTube, the parody had already been seen by more people than every episode of Mad Men. 
And finally this week, Tila Tequila accused San Diego Charger Sean Merriman of trying to choke her, prompting outrage on YouTube. I mean, the woman is a self-proclaimed bipolar. She says makes her more powerful, while I just see crazy bitch. And Sean saying in his defense, Tila Tequila was really wasted. She was trying to attack him. He tried to restrain her. This honestly feels like Chris Brown and Rihanna, the trashy edition. Or better put, the VH1 edition. The shot of Love Stars confirmed that she equally dislikes being choked by both men and women. That is hot. And that does it for this week in YouTube. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, we haven't shown my clip yet. You brought a clip? Of course. I'm a guest. It's a show. But you were just sitting at your desk. Do you bring a clip with you wherever you go? I'm a professional. Do you need to set it up? I think it speaks for itself. And now, here's a clip from my video podcast, Bibliotech, where we discuss the future of publishing with authors and market leaders. Yeah, there is a, there is a bunch of there are people out there actually patiobooks.com. Mm. People uh, can can actually give donations directly to yes, you know, the author and patio books itself. Mm. And um, there's a surprisingly number of a uh, good number of people will actually go and do that. Right. So, um, but do you, do you think having um, some sort of price versus free when you had it in the app store made it so that at least people took it a little bit more seriously, or do you think there was what do you um, think the psychology of that was? I don't think it was. Uh, I think because I was an independent author, there there was some reluctance to consider me seriously. Uh, but I don't think having a price or no price was the difference. I think what the Kindle gave me was a platform for people to find my books. I just have one question: Was Vincent Price's ghost disturbed when you shot your show in his bedroom? Hey man, I'm doing your favor here. Actually, I think we're all done. That does it for this week in YouTube. For Mark Jeffrey, I'm Lon Harris, watching YouTube so you don't have to.